Welcome to our exploration of the multifaceted role of a patron. Throughout history, patrons have played crucial roles from frequenting businesses to financing artistic endeavors. At its most basic, a patron might be someone who regularly enjoys the services of a restaurant, shop, or hotel. Their recurring presence brings financial stability and familiarity, crucial to any business's survival. Sometimes, the term is used for any customer, regular or new, as in, patrons are asked to park their cars facing outward. However, patronage sometimes transcends mere routine visits to establishments. Patrons often provide substantial support typically financial, to individuals, causes, or organizations. They act as sponsors, infusing resources where they believe potential thrives. In the previous page, you heard me use the word patronage. It is also a noun, like patron. However, a patron is a person. While patronage refers to the support or financial aid, that these individuals bestow upon artists, organizations, or causes. Essentially, it's the act of supporting or favoring something. Some patrons lend more than just money. They offer their name. This form of support, especially when coming from someone reputable or famous, can significantly elevate an organization's standing, drawing attention, and credibility. Consider members of the British royal family or renowned celebrities. Their patronage of charities often brings these causes into the limelight, encouraging wider public engagement and subsequent support. The late Queen Elizabeth was patron to more than 600 charities and organizations in the UK and abroad. The concept of patronage is deeply embedded in history particularly in the arts. Kings, popes, and the wealthy once commissioned works from artists like Shakespeare or Leonardo da Vinci, enabling some of history's greatest works of art, music, and literature. For example, Michelangelo was commissioned by Pope Julius II to paint the Sistine Chapel ceiling, one of the most renowned artworks in the world. This patronage not only supported the artist, but also left a lasting cultural legacy. In religious contexts, a patron saint holds a distinct meaning. These figures, revered for their guidance and protection, are tied to various aspects of life, advocating for nations, activities, or even families from the spiritual realm. These heavenly protectors span across various religions and cultures, embodying hopes, virtues, and the spiritual bond of their followers. They're more than historical or religious figures. They're symbols of unity and identity. To summarize, a patron is a versatile term representing a relationship between protector and recipient, customer and business, supporter and beneficiary. Their influence, whether through financial means, social status, or spiritual guidance, has shaped society across the ages. The verb, to patronize, has a dual meaning. In the context of business, it means to be a customer or frequent visitor to a store, restaurant, or other establishment. However, Patronize in different settings can take on a more negative connotation, implying a condescending attitude. When someone says, don't patronize me, they're expressing their dislike for being talked down to, treated as if they were ignorant or incapable, or handled with an attitude that suggests they're inferior or less knowledgeable. It is a plea for respect and intellectual recognition. Thank you for joining this journey through the historical and societal impacts of patrons. From the arts to the spiritual, their presence is an enduring testament to the power of support and advocacy.